I chose the ruckus because you can do so many things to make it like your inspiration. The reason I got a ruckus is they stood out as opposed to the other scooters. It's so fun, there's so much stuff you can do to a ruckus. Like you can't do one modification without combining the appropriate other modifications. I've gotten several awards with what I've had built. Just something you can build off and build a character for whatever you're building. So I, I thought it was just a scooter, but it's not. It's more than that. What's up my rolling wrenchies? We're out here in Seattle, Washington. We're, I'm, I'm like adventuring like a son of a gun. Got the motorcycle over there. And I just, actually we might move here, that's why we're here. But I, I just finished editing the very first YouTube Live build series. Like I've done a ton of build series on this channel, but none that have been live. Kind of exciting, actually. There's still some equipment that I gotta get, you know, to, to make different camera angles because you're always moving the camera around during a live but the video you're about to watch is the full like live raw footage that I cut down to make it look not live but if you're interested in that full live raw feed I'll put the link down in the description you can you can click that let's get this video going so a while ago I got this bike from uh, New Jersey this is Dave's bike and uh, this bike came in not running. It had a, a bunch of wiring issues and uh, we had some issues with, uh, with it running correctly and stuff. Uh, well, I've got the, our, our EFI system dialed in on this and uh, I rode it around and stuff. It's got a pretty big oil leak that I'll need to fix, but um, this is the EFI system. So, it runs pretty decent actually, really, really good. Um, I'm actually super impressed because this is our bass tune that we had, uh, that I spent all the time on. We've got this little hand tuner, if you see, uh, uh, where you can adjust all the uh, settings for like 500 RPM, 15,000 RPM, 500, 1,000, 1,500 and so on and you can adjust the fuel based on that while it's running, for instance. So I can stay here and it, see those numbers. I can just adjust this, but basically I, this tune that you just heard is a 171cc Tata head and cylinder and it runs perfect with no adjustments. So I'm happy about that. I'm going to tear down this complete bike and uh, we're going to get it powder coated. So this build series here is just going to be completely me tearing it down uh, from a bike that is already running. I think we're going to powder coat the wheels red and we're also going to, uh, the frame is kind of like a few different shades of black and that, that's going to be um, powder coated as well. So it's basically going to be kind of a, uh, the same type of build but a little bit better. So let's start with, uh, I'm gonna get this motor loosened up. So here's our EFI setup here. I'm just gonna start unplugging a bunch of this stuff. Just make sure every, nothing's attached here, that's the main thing. I'm gonna go ahead and start pulling the stator out. We're gonna put a 12 pole stator because we're doing the rolling wrench harness. And it also has like a pretty bad oil leak over on this side. We got that sucker off, get the pickup off of here. And we need a puller for that. The only way to get these things off easily, at least, is these little pullers. We have these on the website. And it's reverse thread. You just reverse it until it stops. Go forward to under. That thing pulls off, and then you've got this little, that was actually loose in there. So that's good that I'm taking, that's probably what, yeah, that's loose too. So 
That's probably the reason, possibly the reason for the oil leak. See this oil leak under here? Pretty bad. Yeah, see, look at this oil leak, you guys. That's probably just, it's probably an easy fix, just these uh, bolts up here. So I'm just gonna, uh, I'm just gonna kind of put these back and I bet you that's where the, the leak's coming from. So I'm gonna squeeze through here with my little screwdriver. There we go. All right, I think I got everything off. There's always one that you forget about. So if I'm gonna take the shock off. I've already got this. Uh, I'm gonna put this stuff together actually. This is the rear brake. I'm gonna put the spring in there with the little adjuster and the nut. Whoa! And we'll just launch there. And then see, we got everything off. We got that off. We got the throttle cable off. We've got the, oh, the fuel line needs to come off. So I'll do that really quick. Cool thing about the fuel line, uh, EFI here, you can just pull the injector off. Super easy. Check this out. And I can just wiggle this. Then you got the injector. So I can just kind of hang that down. I'll put the screw back in. And grab these channel locks, grab this bolt here. Okay, shocks out, motor out. Sheesh, move this motor out of the way. All right, motor out. Whew, that blew my sphincter on that one. Get this tape off of here. I'm gonna pull most of these wires out back here. There's, there may be a little bit of misconception on the EFI system. Um, so a carburetor you have to tune and you know you got a jet and it's a real pain in the butt. And the EFI system, even though I call it plug and play, it's not really a plug and play. It's, it does plug in and play, but it's, it comes with the base tune. If, you, if you've seen at the beginning of the video, I started it with the base tune, revved it up, everything runs great, but you do the fine tuning with the hand tuner. So instead of like pulling a jet out of your uh, your carburetor, you know, doing that takes I don't know 20 minutes to get to one jet. You push one button, and that would be like one jet up. Super super easy. All right, well I got to figure out what I'm going to do next here. I got to get this gas tank off. Is what I need to do. There it is. Get these pegs off of here so I can get the gas tank off. This should pull this off now. All right, there's these little beauty covers. Get these pulled off of here. Some tape on here I'm gonna pull off so we can disconnect this. Try not to cut my finger off here. Here we go. Here is the uh, EFI. Um, you have to drill a hole in your uh, gas tank. So what I did is I, I put the, basically what this is, it's just a uh, valve stem, 90 degree valve stem. So I put a washer over it with some uh, fuel safe O-rings back behind there. And then I put a, uh, some JB weld like fuel safe JB weld underneath the washer and crank it down. So what was happening is see how the uh, fuel pump is, uh, it was mounted really high up like this. So if you notice, if you have uh, your fuel, you know, down here, it's never gonna get to the tank because this nipple right here has to be way, way below the gas tank as much as possible for gas to flow into the fuel pump. Then once the gas flows in, then you know it can pump it out. But what was happening is this thing was really, really high. So when you'd be like half a tank, you're basically were running out of gas. So that's what was going on there. I'm gonna try to pull off this rear frame right now. And then uh, when the rear frame's pulled, then I can start taking that apart. So let's do that. All 
right? There's one. Should use my impact. There we go. Now we can pull this thing out and set it over there. Now we got to pull the front of this off of here. Pull these off of here. I think we're going to do the uh, wheels like an like kind of a uh, faded red, like a aged red. Should be pretty cool. It's like a little mini uh, bobber. This thing is. All right. These little screws here. Everybody struggles getting out. Sometimes I do too. Depends. So basically, this is a number three screwdriver, and uh, the goal is to get it in there. Number two screwdriver won't work, but a number three works. So you notice how uh, get it right out. Let me show you what I mean here. So you notice that it's really it looks like a stripped head of a screw. So that's the number three screwdriver. Those are the, it won't work with the number two. Most people have number two screwdrivers. So the ignition should come out now. And then on the back side, there is a little pin that you push and then you can unplug. So there's our ignition. A lot of people forget this plate as well when they're doing a build. This is for the uh, steering lock. And there's also a See that? If you're ever doing like frame up build, you get one of these as well. Let's uh, get this battery out of here. These things are pretty slick. Check these out. This uh, Dewalt. So to tight to screw in, just turn to your right. To loosen, turn to your left. Little gyro. Super slick. Start getting these wires out of here. Start getting this battery box off. Get this uh, rectifier regulator off of here. CDI box, kind of wrapped around. All right. Just a tons of wires we got to get off of here, you guys. And we're going to switch it over with to our. Uh, the original OEM ruckus harness, and then we'll uh, add our 20 minute install harness to it. So it'll be as close to OEM as possible. Get the horn un unplugged. Got some tape around here we're gonna get off of here. Some of these wires were coming loose, look like. All right, I gotta get this ground cable off of here. All right. Here is our old harness. All this. And we'll, we're actually not gonna use any of this anymore. Uh, so I'm just gonna put it to the side. This frame right here is uh, going to powder coat. So I've got the rear frame over there taken down. I've got the harness taken apart. Um, Pretty much all I have left is this front frame pulling these forks off of here and the bars. So let's do that. You guys are looking at these Vans grips. You look at those. Let me move this thing down and you'll see them. You know Vans the shoes? Yeah, this is their grips. It's like the same pattern as the bottom of the shoes. Made in the USA. Now I gotta get these things loose. You got a locking nut here, just like that. You got this foam pad from between the two. And you got this unit, 
It's got the little notch in it. And then this big sucker, which I don't think this thing opens up all the way. Let's see if I can turn it by hand. Yeah. They're actually kind of dry. We'll, we'll make sure they're uh, lubed up. All right. So we got our bars. These will get powder coated. We've got our engine there. We've got our front frame, rear frame. This stuff still needs to be stripped down, but I won't bore you guys with that. Then we've got our uh, wiring harness sitting there. All our tools in a pile. Oh, I just did a harness for a, uh, on a Yamaha Zuma 50F and removed the fuel injection off of it. Look at this. Look how many wires I removed off of that. Isn't that crazy? So that's the tear down. I'm gonna send this, this stuff to powder coat and uh, it'll probably be like three weeks, something like that. So when I come back, the next, the, I'll, I'll finish this build. I'll do this live. And then we're gonna start doing the turbo build series, which hopefully I'll be done with my personal ruckus so that we can do that. Turbo's right here. Here's the flange. Super sweet. Here's the header. Super sweet t uh, TIG welds. It's got the blow off valve. Huh? I haven't really published this yet, any of this, but here's the, uh, there's the, my ruckus right now. This is my home build. I changed the color, it's like a gray. But here is the inner cooler. Here's the inner cooler. I, I definitely, I super appreciate you guys for watching my whole entire teardown video. If you haven't subscribed already, do that. Hit the little blue bell, thumbs up, do the whole nine yards, head over to Instagram, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. I appreciate you guys. If you didn't know already and you want to, uh, be more involved with the channel. We do have a little join button to become a supporter. We've got a few different brackets of ways to support the channel. You'll get one of them is called the backstage passes and you'll get full access to all the live feeds that we did raw footage and you'll get a little loyalty badge next to your name. So when we're doing the live and I see the comments, uh, you're going to be priority. Keep in mind all of the stuff that you watched prior to this video, you'll get videos exactly like that. You want, I'm not taking anything away from you guys. This is just a way to go even further and support the channel and get more. So I appreciate you, and we'll see you in the next video. <laughs>